just right now because MPs this week began an inquiry into the shortage of care staff. Now it's particularly acute among private providers looking after the elderly and vulnerable at home. Now, there's already thousands of unfilled vacancies with existing staff leaving for better paid jobs elsewhere. And as Luke Walton discovered in East Cleveland, that's having a knock-on effect for those who need care at home. You're having a cuppa as well? Yeah. Thank you. Nurse, caretaker, cook, bottle washer. Home care worker Julie recounts just a few of the many responsibilities that come with the job. If it wasn't for home care, they would be either in a nursing home, a residential home, or they would be in hospital bed blocking. Yes. They come like family to us. Sometimes we're the only family that they've got. Uh, like Julie said, at Christmas and Covid, we were the only ones that people could see. The gratitude of those being cared for is plain to see. <laughs> And everything they do for me is just spot on, brilliant. They are, and if I lose them, I'd be very upset. You know, because I've got used to them, they've got to use to my ways. You normally go to Weasington, don't you? Their work may be yeah. indispensable, but the pressure of the job is growing all the time. All right, my lovely. We start at a, roughly about six in the morning, and sometimes we don't finish till gone 11 at night, with very yeah. few breaks. Back we go. Gently back down. Because we don't have the carers, people phone in sick, and then we just have to go out and cover their calls. As for why recruitment and retention is an increasing issue, most in the care sector point to pay as the number one issue. This local care provider says it can only afford to give carers the national living wage because of the low level of funding it gets from the council. In the meantime, staff are being lost. They leave us to go to Aldi uh, for nine, £10 an hour, bar work. Uh, one of our amazing carers left us to go and work in a fish and chip shop for £10 an hour. We, we just can't compete with those things. And with the workforce increasingly overstretched, families with new care needs are being forced to wait. We used to never, ever say no to a care package that was offered to us, and we say no to about 90% of the customers that come through. Um, we're constantly getting asked by the council, please, can you do this customer? This customer's waiting for a care package. There's many customers in hospital, in care homes, because we can't facilitate the care. Yeah. Jeff's family is at the sharp end of the issue. His 92-year-old relative has been held up in hospital for weeks because home care can't be found. The family want him home, his wife who is 98 wants him home, but the problem at the moment, there is no care package that social services can find for him, so that we just have to wait for the care to be put in place for him to come home, which is very frustrating. The local council admits that home care delays are a growing problem. So what about paying providers more so the carers get a better wage? We'd love to give more. But uh, if the government would give us more, then we'd be able to pass more. But it needs a radical overhaul of how it's funded. As a council, we've been massively squeezed. We'd love to have pots of money to give out to people, but it just isn't there. Ministers say they're ploughing billions extra into care as part of a wider funding boost. But with demand and vacancies rising, there are calls for more investment and reform not just for the sake of care workers, but also the many people who rely on them.